Hello so guys, today I'm gonna show you how you can fix your external hard drive on your Xbox One and by the way guys if you still have problems during this video you can just go ahead and join our fix the Xbox One community and will help you out so the first thing you want to do guys is you want to press on the home button go to settings and you want to make sure right now that you have the external hard drive plugged in Now, on system storage, go to here. So you should see your external hard drive. So now on my screen, it says that it's like connected with pictures, music, and video. You can also change that, click on A. And like you see, what you want to do actually is if you don't have any saved data or anything like that, you want to format it. And then click on format storage device and by the way guys i noticed that if you do use for media it could happen that your problem starts happen when you start using it for media i actually did and i had a lot of problems actually i don't really know why it was glitched or something like that on xbox one but i actually never had this problem on my I mean my PS4 itself so this only happened on my Xbox one so let's click on start so install new things here or keep current location so it's up to you actually to choose one of these so uh, this one will for example if you download now a game it will just automatically get into your external hard drive but if you do keep current location it will get into your internal hard drive and now let's do this one format device and that's how easy it is guys so now let's go to the next step now guys as the next step what you want to do is you want to plug this one out so let's just plug it out And now what you want to do is if you have another USB port, you want to plug it into there. So if you have another one, just plug it into there. And if you believe that your USB port is broken or if you only have like one USB port like mine, what you can do is you can try to connect it with something else and see for yourself if it's broken or not. So how do you do that? You can get a USB flash drive or you can get a USB cable like this one on the PS4. You can even use this one. So you want to just plug on your USB cable into your Xbox controller itself. And once you plug it in, it will automatically blink once it's connected. So that's how you can check out if it's broken or not your USB ports. So now let's go to the next step. And now guys, to check out if your external hard drive is broken or not, what you can do is you can connect it to somewhere else like your PC, your Mac, your PS4 even. So you can even connect it to your PS4. And what you do is you go to uh, devices and then go to external hard drive or USB devices and things like that. And then you will get a option to format it. And if it shows you that your external hard drive is there, it means that your yours is still working, but it's most likely the Xbox One's fault. It sometimes happens, guys. So what you can do for that is you can go ahead and activate troubleshoot. And by the way guys, before I go to troubleshoot, I just want to show you some other methods what you also can do. So press on your home button. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to settings. You want to go to general. And then click on power mode and start up. On here guys, you want to make sure that power mode is on instant on. So if your power mode is on energy saving, this could happen that your problem is that. So make sure it's on instant on. Now what you want to do is you want to go to system. On system go to updates and downloads. And you want to make sure that these are linked on. So keep my console up to date, especially this one. And if you want you can also do this. So what you want to click on is latest console update status and like it says on down right there latest status update successful so it's great actually so we are on the latest updates. 
Now guys, let's go to the next method. So we want to make sure that we have something. So first go to system, go to storage. And now you want to make sure that your flash drive or whatever you have, like your external hard drive, you want to make sure it's 128 gigs or more. So if you are like using a external hard drive, it could be that you need more than 256 gigs. And guys, you want to also make sure that it's formatted as NTFS. So like it says on right there, you can also do it on your PC or your Mac. But for your Mac, you actually need a program or something like that. I think it was um, Tuxera Disk Manager or something like that on the Mac. So you need to download something special for formatting it with NTFS. So once you do that, guys, you will be able to get it back onto your Xbox One on. So I just want to say this guys, so if you wonder why you can't like use this or if you have like really low storage, it could happen that these are the problems for you. So now let's go to the troubleshooting methods. So now guys, you are on the troubleshooting methods and also guys, it could happen that something is corrupted on your uh, console itself so what I suggest you guys to do is if you have like another USB drive or something like a storage or that you can get it into your cloud or something like that I want you guys to do that because this is gonna require to delete some safe data or games and things like that so it could happen that there is something corrupted into your uh, console itself because it actually happened to me so what happened was I used my external hard drive as a media one, like a media player or something like that. But it actually gave me a lot of errors and my external hard drive wasn't even recognized by Xbox One. So I just defaulted my settings by doing this. So what you want to do is you want to keep holding the black button right here. You won't see it really good guys, but uh, you just want to keep holding it and if you have a eject button so some people have a eject button like with a disk drive i don't have one so you want to keep holding these two buttons the eject button and the black button so i don't have one so i only need to hold this one but first what you want to do is you want to close your console off so let's wait for the slides i just accidentally clicked on it Come on. So, what you want to do is you want to keep holding till you see no more lights coming out. Now, once you see that, you want to keep holding the black button. And if you have a jack button, you want to also hold that. Press only once on the power button. Keep holding. And once you hear a second sound coming out, keep holding a little bit more and then leave it. So let's go to our screen. Right now, guys, like you see, we are on troubleshoot itself. And I just want to say, guys, use this as a last method. The reason why is we are going to delete some safe data and things like that. So and to make sure if you have like a USB stick or something like that, make sure that you can get it into that. So you have some backup of your safe data if you are going to do this. And also, guys, I just want to say don't do this before formatting your external hard drive so make sure that you formatted it and that's something like uh, fixing the corrupted data like I said just format it and now guys let's click on reset this Xbox so I just want to say guys if you do this one keep games and apps I don't think this is gonna work really great but you can always do this because it says like erase all accounts, saved games and settings. So settings is the main focus of it all. The reason why sometimes your settings are recognizing your external hard drive as something else. It actually happened to me. I changed it to a media player and 
it didn't even recognize my external hard drive anymore. So I tried it on my PS4, but on there it actually did recognize it. On my PC it did recognize it, but not on my Xbox One. And it was really weird actually. And I just resetted my settings. So actually guys, keep games and apps. I think that's the best option to do. Remove everything. I don't really think... Like you can also fix it by doing this, but keep games and apps. It's gonna be better, I think. So I suggest you guys to do this one. And guys, this was the video. Also, if you wonder how to get off troubleshoot, I just click on continue, and then it will just automatically restart your console. So these are some fixes what you can try out and. Also guys, please like, subscribe and comment down below and take care of yourself guys. Goodbye.